I've played Guild Wars 2 for over 20,000 hours, and I've learned a whole lot and collected just about everything in the game, so it's a perfect time to go round again. Join me in the adventures of my completely fresh account known only as the Microtransaction Enjoyer on the quest of obtaining and unlocking everything in the game, from legendary gear and mounts to living world story episodes, maps, and ultimate gem store quality of life, purely through efficient and somewhat sensible gameplay. No real money required. It's time to sell objects. We have a bunch of tier five. Goodbye tier five, you won't be missed. Oh my God, guys, I knew I'd forget about this. Okay, this is very important. I have been trolling for the last, fi honestly, for so long for hundreds of hours because I completely forgot about this. However, you now won't forget because I'm going to tell all of you. You can buy 20% extra experience from kills, uh, and that's of course really good for leveling up your masteries, and you put it into your ascended amulet, which has an enrichment slot. I completely forgot about this, um, and it just costs 10 laurels, which is very easy to get. That's just, you know, like, uh, you know, like a few weeks of logging into the game, right? Not, not even that. It depends, like, where you are in the cycle, right? But very easy to get, and it's just 20% free XP, which is going to be amazing for leveling up, of course, all of our masteries, like, getting through that XP grind. And I, look, look how much I've done without a free 20% bonus. What? Uh, uh, but now, don't worry, I can fix that. Here we go. Experienced enrichment. Very good. I'm gonna slap that in there. There we go. And that's another 20% XP, which is obviously going to accelerate all of our progress when it comes to actually getting through these XP bars on every single mastery in the game. Oh, yeah, and that's a good point. While I'm at it, let's go get the guild XP buff at the same time. I don't have a guild booster at all. And let's go ahead and do it immediately. So if you have a guild, almost all guilds will have this. This is not super, um, you know, this is not crazy to get or anything like that. Where is the tavern on in this guild hall, actually? Because there is, you can get a permanent buff, basically, from uh, guilds that will just give you, like, more world versus world progress, more XP, more magic finder, more whatever. Uh, where is it? Yeah. Uh, the mug icon. Ah, there it is. It's over there. Okay. The mug icon. Now you go over to this in your guild hall, and then you speak to guild enhancements. Ah, look at these fish. Nice. Let's get in there. You speak with the guild enhancements, and you can have a bunch of stuff. You can have crafting, map bonus, gathering, karma, magic find, XP, PP reward track, world XP, world versus world reward track. World XP and XP are really good. Of course, magic find is pretty nifty as well. But in this case, we're going to go for XP. And look, see, look how hard trolling I am here. That's another free 10% XP, and that's permanent. You just do this. You can change it anytime you like, right? Like this. There's no cooldown on it. And it's just permanent. It's like an infinite thing that you just have forever now. And now I have another 10% XP, which is obviously really good. So we just gained a total of 30% permanent extra experience, which is insane for leveling our masteries. I honestly can't wait to see the YouTube comments, because when they see me start to do the mastery grind, they're going to be powerlessly saying, Teapot, remember to buy the XP buffs. Remember to get the guild boost. Little do they know, I did almost all of it um, without any of those things. And they're going to have to watch in agony over like 20 episodes. Well, probably not that many, probably like 10 episodes or so, as I don't do it until now. All right, let's get this done. It has to be done. I think after this, I'm actually just going to pre-buy the Skyscale food as well. So I'll sell all of this stuff, and we'll get some buy orders in for Skyscale food. Because that means that we can just save a little bit of gold. We don't need the food now, but we will need it for finishing the Skyscale. Here we go. And then we need to buy 12 of these. We need 12 pieces of Skyscale food, so I'll just place it at one copper higher than this guy. Because you know what? It's time to troll. Here we go. 12 pieces of Skyscale food, and we'll need that for a hilarious time gate down the line. Uh, essentially, you need to feed the Skyscale four, piece, four treats every day. You can craft that food too, using charged quartz crystals, but these things are actually time-gated themselves. You can only make one of these a day. You can actually brute force buy them, but it will be pretty expensive. Uh, specifically, what you can do is you can open Winter's Day gifts or trick-or-treat bags, and they have a very low drop chance. However, that is quite painful. Not sure if I'd recommend it unless you're completely insane. Uh, but if you are completely insane, then I guess it's pretty good. 
I tell you what I will do. I will go ahead and quickly unlock the Griffin collection so we can just actually have that visible uh, while we're here. Uh, because not, I guess not everyone knows how to unlock the Griffin. Let's go and unlock it. Is Griffin useful if you have Sky Skill already? Uh, no. Not in the sense you're asking. Uh, but it is fun. It's a much more enjoyable mount to use than the Sky Skill. The Sky Skill is... It, it's not fun to use, in my opinion. Um, whereas the Griffin is really fun to use. Yeah. But its utility is very poor compared to... Um, uh, it's very poor compared to the Sky Skill, obviously. It's faster... But it's not as game breaky. The sky scale is much game breakier. So basically, this is actually a pretty cool little collection meme. I guess we'll get the mastery point first. Whoa. There we are. There's a cool collection meme, and this is actually really messed up. If you read the dialogue here, you will be horrified. You'll see what I mean in just a moment. Here we are. At the Sunspear Sanctuary. And basically the way you unlock the Griffin is by doing a bunch of stuff in this place, the Sunspear Sanctuary. And there's a very important NPC involved in this. This is where we need to be. So, this is the Sunspear Sanctuary. This is the remains of the last Spear Marsh. You might think, well, this is a dead person. Actually, no, this is not a dead person. So, th this is uh, basically... Joko killed this person, but semi-awakened them. So they aren't dead or awakened or alive. They're just unable to move. They're just lying here. That's all they can do, right? I am what Joko made me, neither dead nor awakened. I occupy a space between my mind trapped in my shriveled corpse, unable to move or speak. These griffins are my only companions. <laughs> What's the deal with the griffins? <laughs> what can I do? I'll see what I can do. And this is the beginning of this. And yes, it's Talcora, isn't it? That's true. Yeah, it is Talcora. That's right. Yeah, yeah. You can actually, you find this out over the course of this collection, I believe. This is actually a character from the original Guild Wars 1. Didn't get quite as lucky as Koss, essentially. Ooh, daily mystic coins. And this collection is, this one is honestly pretty easy. Um, in fact, it doesn't have any time gates on it. Basically, uh, what you have to do is just go around and find relics. You have to buy some stuff. It costs you 250 gold, I believe, um, to get this. I think, do you have to do the hearts? I think you maybe have to, um, to do the hearts to get this, but it's 25 gold a pot. You've got to get 10 relics. But anyway, we will sort all of that out tomorrow. And I will actually be able to do pretty much everything to do with the sky scale. The, I will basically headbutt into the three-day time gate tomorrow, which is kind of lame, but I don't know. Well, I don't know what to say, right? Like, it is what it is. That's just, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Sometimes you butt your head into a, uh, into a three-day time gate, and that's exactly what we will do. Okay. We've, okay, gamers, uh, I've actually kind of thought about this, and the fact that I now have 500 hours, I am now in fear. Uh, we need to get a fucking move on, lads. Um, oh! We need to actually go faster. I'm going to have to be... I'm going to be pretty focused here uh, to actually get this done. I'm a little bit worried. I, I think I'm going to get less worried after I have the sky scale fully unlocked. But I am... Oh! So we're going to have to really get some pace going here. So... Uh, without further ado, let's go. Uh, next up is going to be... Uh, where is it, actually? It is... Um, Story Journal, and it's going to be... Uh, War Eternal, and it's going to be... Saving Sky Scales, right. So got to go talk to Gorik here, and let's get a move on. Let me start up Blish, and let's rock and roll. I will not lose to the Mastery System. I am going to farm the Mastery System hard. No way do I lose to Masteries, guys. We're going to have to sweat a little bit, but it should be okay. 55 hours, guys. 55 hours to go. That's what we've got. And we've got to get max Mastery within that time. Skyscale Treats. Dude, look at that. It even tells you the crafting recipe. Blish Hut. Oh my god. 
What an add-on. Okay, wait. What? Give me, give me. Oh, we've got to pet the egg. My egg. Okay, right. Now, this, you might go, oh, this doesn't look too bad, right? Well, here's the thing. Each of these eggs requires us to do a whole bunch of stuff. Okay? Uh, so we now have to go and infuse the egg with a whole bunch of things. This basically means we have to go and do a bunch of events, more or less. Uh, it's event time, and we have to go all over the place and find stuff. So, I guess let's get started. Speak with Grand Elder Waterjin, okay, in Zagano Cliffs in the Domain of Vabi. Well, let's roll. Oh, we just have to... What, I think we just have to battle a bunch of random djinn, right? Yeah, we do. Okay. Okay, so we need to speak to... Fire guy and earth guy. Right, I need a sword. Yep, juice me. Appreciate it, buddy. Boom, juice me. Do I need to talk to you? Juice me. Lovely. How about you? Boom. Love it. Okay, great. Nice. Okay, there we go. Sky oh, I'm just gonna. I'm just. I'm just gonna do these in order. I think. Okay, give me some fear juice. Fear, huh? Fear is meant to be conquered. Get hit by a brand storm. Teach the class. Get attacked by angry chickens. <laughs> Very top of the wall. Okay, great. That one is now activated. Sky skill of spirit. Um, a lonesome, Venlin Vale in Brisbane. Let's just go ahead and get that going. Hello, you. Spirit magic. Spirit magic hands in place of his oracle. Go where great events or want great people once trod. Okay, great. Uh, spirit, we have that one. No sky scale of death. Sister Liss at the necropolis in the domain of Vabi. Easy. Tell me about death. Okay, I've learned about death. Okay, visit the dead, visit the dead, visit the dead. Okay, fine. Sky scale of growth. Ah, Omphalos Chamber in the Grove. Okay, we can do that. Teacher, tell me about growth. Tell me about how I could be a plant too. Done. Lovely. Easy. Okay, sky scale of blood. Amora Soul Keeper in Dragonfall. Easy. There we go. And sky scale of life. Priestess of Duena, let's go. This is all the setup, by the way. We haven't even started yet. Maybe this one will work. That one will indeed work. Lovely. Okay. Sky scale of air. We've got that. I think we have every collection now unlocked. Okay, we need to do this. Speak with Frigid Paw at uh, Talarbaroop Waves. Okay. So this is the last one we need. Sky scale of ice. That's Frost Gorge Sound, right? I think. Right, ice done. A snowflake is weak, an iceberg strong. Do you understand what this means? I need to find big ice. Find yourself and enclose yourself in it. Okay. Right, well, in that case, we're just going to burn through this uh, one by one. Domain of corner. We all just nuke these eggs down. Let's make it happen. There we go. Right, next. And there it is. Okay, fire is done. Nice. Sky scale of Earth locked in. Next! I'll tell you what, guys. Wait, do I have enough time for a... Okay, we've got 25 minutes. Do we have... Do I have time? I kind of want to try to actually do the entire skimmer collection and unlock that before the doppelganger. Is that possible? I think it is if we're ridiculously snappy and we cheat. We need to cheat. That's going to be really important. We're going to get the wiki going and abuse like we've never abused before and then get to the doppelganger. Because I'd really like to get the experience from the doppelganger on that skimmer mastery because it's going to be a lot of XP. So we're going to have to dude, we're going to have to break out every single illegal strat here. It's going to be the we're going to have to go full illegal strat mode if we want to get this done. Because again, oh fuck, that is, that's not a good start. Because the problem is that I am a little bit worried about the time pressure, guys. I'm worried that I could get farmed. Level zero mastery point might win. And I will, I refuse to concede to level zero mastery point. Cluster of wins, let's go. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Place the egg. Good. Sky skill of air done. Right. We're actually going to do um, skimmer really fast. Really fucking fast. And we have to talk to this person. Okay. Next. 
Uh, tracking a thief. Thief. Boom. Done. Nice. Okay, next. Uh, find the famous water gin. That is Lion's Arch, because that is Zomros. Fun fact, you can actually uh, directly go to Wing 6 and do this too, which is kind of cool. This part is a little bit cancer, because this one is event dependent, isn't it? So if the event isn't here, then we're fucked. Oh no, I think the event isn't here. Ah, that's a problem. We might actually get stopped in our tracks here. Uh... It's fine. Unlucky. Right, you. Tell me. Skimmer thief. Ah. Wait, what do... No, I can't do this, can I? Oh, no. That's actually disastrous. Help defend uh, Mosh Poi Poi from the Ice Brood. That is not something I can do right now. No, that event is not up. When? What triggers that event? That's incredibly unfortunate. Sky Skull of Growth, done. There it is. That's now fully completed. Skyscale of life has been completed. Ah, Skyscale of blood has been completed. I'm very tempted to actually get some Heart of Thorns mastery XP. So I think I might stay and just farm a bunch of NPCs because the, the quicker we get through all of this, the better, guys. I'm not going to lie. I am feeling a little bit sweaty. I'm still, I definitely think I can do it. I definitely think I can get enough mastery points in time, but I am acutely aware that it isn't actually free. Oh, this is actually illegal. Look how illegal that is, guys. I didn't... Oh, look at that. It's even got a marker pack for the floor is lava. And seeing as we actually can get an extra mastery point um, from this, let's go and abuse this. That's a fun feature that's uh, kind of built into this blish pack here. Oh, that is illegal, guys. So instead of having to figure out how to do this properly, we can just completely hard cheat um, by using blish. That is pretty funny, actually. Oh, or I can lag and have to restart. Nice. Okay, good. Let's go. Wait, can you make that? You can make that jump? Really? Am I just insanely incompetent? There's no way, right? Yeah, you have to kind of do that. Ooh, ooh. Look at this. We're going to follow the path and get gold. Check this out. Okay, boom. And then we go on this mushroom. I presume it wants you to go up here first. Get this mushroom here. Then boom. Okay, boom. Yep. Uh-huh. Lovely. Oh, I see. It's even kind of telling you when to pick up the little spores at the same time. That's crazy. This is truly the most illegal of illegal add-ons. Yeah, this is allowed, by the way. I'm, I'm just joking about it being illegal. It's not illegal. It is completely kosher. Oh, I kind of trolled there, didn't I? You have to go to this mushroom first. I think this one actually is a little bit spicy to get this done, though. This is definitely one of the achievements that can take you a little bit of time to actually get done. That's for sure. I'm going to try and follow the guide as accurately as possible. Huh. 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 Will the guide succeed? Will I win first try? That's a good question. Okay. I'm not are we I'm not sure if we're going to get this guys. This doesn't feel that good. Am I supposed to be dropping down here? I, I I don't think I am. I think it's going to kind of take me around, and then we're going to grab all of them in one go, aren't we? Yeah, look. It's going to get us to do this right at the last second. Okay. Have I missed one? Is that really the reality here? No! I get it! I get it! I win! Boom! Yeah. <laughs> We clutched it out, guys. We clutched up at the last second and hit it as we, we pressed F as we were sliding off the mushroom. There we go. Insane. 
Not even close. Big experience gained, one mastery point gained. Funnily enough, 20 mastery points finishes Newhawk Proving and Newhawk Alchemy. Meaning that we, um, yeah, we're actually done with the base Heart of Thorns masteries in terms of mastery points. So all we have to do after this is finish off the masteries for Ancient Magics and Raids. Fortunately, Ancient Magics is actually really quick to level up. There's a lot of masteries, but they actually don't require that much experience. Raids require a fair bit, but nowhere near as much as the, uh, kind of like the actual core ones. So that's the good news. Boom. Sky Scale of Ice, done. And that is that. We are done with saving sky scales absolutely wonderful that was pretty good that was about how long i thought that was going to take so we're actually making really good time i am very pleased with our progress we focused up and we got it done boom sun's refuge okay so we're done with this collection let's talk to Gorik. boom there we go and now it's going to be a two hour time gate until the egg actually hatches uh, and we can begin the next step, which is really annoying, actually, because that means we're, we're going to have to wait an extra day on the time gate. Um, because basically, the problem here is that at reset, the time gate goes away. You have to basically feed it four treats a day, essentially, is what you have to do. And that is going to be shit, because now I have to wait an extra day to do it. But that's fine. That gives us plenty of time to do every other mastery in the game while we wait. Uh, first of which is going to be the skimmer. I really want this skimmer collection going, so let's go to Frost Gorge and check it out. In fact, I'm just going to AFK here and wait. Right, I'm actually just going to quickly AFK um, and let the, this event spawn. We're just going to have to eat the timer here because it does spawn fairly frequently as I understand it. So we're just going to eat the time and uh, wait for this one. Yeah, this guy's, this, ha, this guy's waiting for it, I guess. Yeah. Right, I'm going to wait here, guys. I'm going to be right back. One second, I need to refill my water. Oh, no, no, I'm not. Okay. Uh, right. The event just spawned. That was convenient. Uh, help defend it against the Ice Brood. Right, where are they coming from? Is it up here or... Ah, here we go. Good. Right, let's go then. It's not going to be a super scaled event, so this shouldn't actually take that long. Right, so that event is now completed. It's time to move on to the next stage. Ah, yeah, we're making some good progress here. We are nearly halfway through. Lovely. Here we go. Right, tell... What do you... What do you mean? Oh. Right, thank you. Okay, uh, find the helpful Largos in Whisper Bay. Is, is that in awe? I think it is. I seem to recall that this part of the collection is just pain. It, it's just horrible. Barely works. And is just completely putrid. Ah, Lagos. Hello. Gotcha. Okay. And now, ah, yes. Quality to leave, go out safe. Are you here to help gu quite guide Corgans away to safety? No. Soon this village will be swarming with undead crate. I will stay here and test their skills. Ooh. I think I actually win. Right? Yes. Yes. Boom. Actually aggressive giga free farm, guys. This is free farm. I get it first try. Insta GG. I am the best collection gamer in all of Guild Wars 2. It's a joke. It's easy. It's first try and it feels damn good. Hello, NPC. You. Yeah, it's actually you. Aha, I have located you. Yes, you stole the skimmers. Give them back. Look, now you're in a cage. Don't you regret your actions? How steal these skimmers? How could you? Lawrence, when you actually get me out of this cage, one of the nearby creatures of the key. Can you help? Uh, right. Obtain a cage key from survivors, crate captors, or from nearby champion. Okay. Okay, good. Boom. Done. Done. Yeah, we're taking these skimmers. All makes sense when you can see the skimmers in Lion's Arch. Oh, yeah, you better make sense. Right, let's roll. And then we go to Lion's Arch. I think she's over here, I think. Right, come on, then. What you got? What can they do? Ah, ooh. Okay, well. Let's go. Whoa! Let's go! Right, we have to dive. Do you have to dive under this? I think we do, right? Duh, duh, duh. 
I love the race music, man. I've got to add this to my playlist. It's so sick. What a jam. Oh shit, go. We're underwater. Yes. We're going to do it. We're going to get this score. We're going to get the gold, guys. We're going to get gold. Free gold. Joke level gold. We're underwater. This is big. Go, 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 go. This is definitely a rat jam. This is a 100% rat jam. We want to be over water as much as possible because it makes us go faster, though. Whoa. Go, 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 go. We are now an advanced skimmer. Right, and then up again. Speed. I think it's this way. Good. I don't know what time we have to beat, really, but I'm feeling good about it. Gold? There it is. 124. Entire thing is done. Lovely. Okay, I should have done that ages ago, to be honest. Oh, wait. wait. Uh, what XP does that give you? Does that give you Path of Fire experience, by the way? I wonder. Um, it gives you... It just says experience. Probably Corteria, then, I guess, right? Because uh, if that gives Path of Fire XP, then that's actually going to be good for leveling this mastery, which is definitely going to be worth doing. Ah, Corteria. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate stuff. But either way, now we finally actually have some XP being generated in Path of Fire. Now... It's time. We are not done yet, my friends. It's time to get down to business and unlock the Griffin. We've got two hours on our timer for the Sky Scale, so that's all we've got to do. Path of Fire, here we come. Let's do this.